welcome to one more uh, yoga with bala let's sit in a comfortably cross leg position keeping your hands in front of your heart let's chant om set an intention for the practice gently start rubbing your hands to create some warmth in your hand and keep it on your closed eyelids beautiful hello <laughs> so we we are going to do 75 minutes of yoga we start with the stretching the eyes looking up looking down without moving your head up down up down up stretching the eye eye muscles our eye bones are held in place using muscles so we are stretching those muscles especially in times like this when we are using our eyes too much now close your eyes for a quick second and opening your eyes right to right left to left we are going to do all this for 5 to 7 times feel the stretch in your eyes you should feel a tingling sensation all through the practice breathe normally as long and deep as possible closing your eyes to moisten our eyes opening our eyes we are going to rotate our eye diagonally move our eyes right up diagonally move to left down diagonally move to right up down diagonal up diagonal down diagonal up down closing your eyes for a quick second and the opposite side opening our eyes beautiful and the opposite side right up left down up down up down up down up down closing our eyes rubbing your hands to create some warmth in your palm and keeping it on your closed eyelids the warmth of your hand dilates the blood vessels increasing the flow of blood to our eyes opening our wrist one more time we start with wrist warm up that in this it's not because i want like times on both sides overstretch a good wrist helps us to have a very healthy practice remember the intention of yoga is to cure your body before that it's and to avoid any injury also up down up opening your fingers down closing your fingers and the opposite up down up down opening your shoulders down feel the opening of your shoulders for arm now we are going to bend the arms keeping it on your shoulders inhale opening the heart the body and close the body by the two pranayam is seven times on one side the sound at the back and five to seven times on the other side opening our shoulders back shoulder muscle we take at least 10 to 15 minutes of warm up we are going to interlock the fingers the interlock is going uh, to interlock the fingers with thumb facing then, up now we are going to come from inside and trying, trying to stretch, stretch the our back. wrist and trying to stretch on your wrist, wrist pectoral muscles and you can All try to hold this if it is too complicated back. don't stretch too much keep it bent coming out now reverse the uh, direction of the hand one more time in and try to stretch the hand out as much as possible stretch 
it is can be bit uh, difficult for some people. Whatever thumb is see, down, we are going to change, going to change the, the direction and then we are going to open the RF side of our shoulders, wrist and then Morning, the everyone. forearm. Twice, you take your time to arrive here. Very good to use the body part. Yoga is about union, yoga is about balance. So we are using the body part that we are stretching. Final one more one. time. We are going to really bring your right hand to the left knee. Go for and the left hand. twist. I think from the sitting position, bring your right hand to the left knee, and the other hand goes to back. Lifting your sternum, sternum and exhaling back. back. We are in the warm up stage. So don't try to push yourself into the practice. Go slowly. Inhale, lifting the sternum and trying to keep the twist. Remember to apply your bandha. And then release the hands. Change of side. To create space in your spine. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe. Coming to center. Interlocking your fingers. Inhale. Try to bring the hand behind your ears. Open your lumbar spine. Gently moving up. This is we call actual extension. That is kind of a non um, drop to the right side to your favorite side. To come to center and to the other side. Keep the interlock. Feel the stretch in your obliques. Try to look up or in that direction. Come to center. And you are for releasing the hands, moving closer. Now we are going to go for cat camel position. Camel. Knee, hip on top of your knee, shoulder on top of your wrist. Inhale, cat. Exhale, squeeze your glutes to bring to apply Mula Bandha and Dhyana Bandha gently to look at your belly. Inhale, cat. Try to keep the arm straight. Elbows, exhale, eye of the elbow bandha, facing each other or towards outside. Exhale, camel. Inhale, cow. Sometimes we can call this. Exhale, camel. Very good for our spine. Try to do a few more times on your own time, on your own speed. Back straight, head straight, back neutral, head neutral. We are going to tuck the knee, in, tuck the toe in, lift the knee two centimeters of the mat. Lift our knee just two centimeters off your shoulders, your shoulders are not to hunch straight. your shoulders. Elbows, so we are work on your core. We are warming up our wrist by giving it gentle. Your knee is like few and centimeters, maybe one, two yeah, centimeters, like a inch or two. Very it's very good for your core. You Remember to apply, apply your mula bandha. Try to keep your weight. Try all inhale. four limbs. Try to release your your toes are getting strengthened. Try to on top of your back knee. Two. Very one. good. Now Start stretch your, your legs. Two. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog of the practice. Being the first downward dog, you are welcome to walk your dog by bending one leg and straightening the other leg. Continue doing so in your own time. Try to open your shoulders as much as possible. Try to keep weight on your palms between your thumb and your legs. Inhale, jump or walk. Exhale, head down. Standing forward bend. An important asana to perform any time especially in the morning to start flowing of blood into your head your heart is up brain is down so naturally by gravity blood is flowing into your head try to remember to drop your head now with bending your knees gently ragdoll yourself up beautiful people hope all of you are going good now we are going to continue with our uh, warm up. We are going to rotate our neck gently. Right, 
back left down continue in your own speed 3 to 5 times on one side feel the massage of your entire neck feel the stretching of your entire neck and 3 to 5 times on the opposite whenever we are opening the body we are inhaling whenever we are closing the body we are exhaling so 3 to 5 times in your own speed especially in modern times with the usage of phone we need to work on our neck every day every asana as possible beautiful bringing your right ear to the right shoulder feeling the stretch from the left ear to the left shoulder and the other side again 3 to 5 times remember to stretch and strengthen your shoulders shoulder blades feeling the stretch strengthening of your neck breathe breathe now rotate your hips clockwise 3 to 5 times and anti clockwise 3 to 5 times you are if lift the right leg or the left leg which your leg is perfectly fine we are going to point the toes flex the toes keep weight on the leg that is on the mat rotating your ankle clockwise anti clockwise now we are going to rotate the whole leg from our hip socket as much as possible on the clockwise try to do small rounds and then gently go higher and higher when you come back you can do the reverse beautiful people change of leg first point the toes flex the toes point flex once you are able to do 5 to 7 rotating your ankle clockwise anti clockwise now start rotating your leg in the same way clockwise and anti clockwise we're preparing ourselves for sun salutations surya namaskar toes touching heels touching inhale arms up arch back exhale flex forward dropping the head completely if you are not able to bring your hands to the side of your legs it's perfectly fine but try to keep the head down stretching our lumbar back lumbar spine inhale right leg goes as much back as possible dropping the right knee front leg is 90 degree or pushing your back leg straight uh, to stretch the soles of the back leg toe in lift the knee up other leg goes back into a plank remember your bandhas in the plank a beautiful and easy way to gain strength and to reduce any belly fat is through plank 
நீச்சின் அஷ்ட அங்க நமஸ்காரம் எயிட் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் பாடி டச்சிங் த ஃப்ளோர் ஸ்லைடிங் இன் டு அ கோப்ரா அண்ட் ஸ்டேயிங் தேர் ட்ரைங் டு கீப் த எல்போஸ் பாயிண்டிங் பேக் லிஃப்ட் யுவர் அப்பர் பாடி ஆஸ் மச் ஆஸ் பாசிபிள் ஃபார் யூ டக்கிங் த டோ இன் லிஃப்டிங் த ஹிப்ஸ் அப் ஆதோ முக ஸ்வனாசன டவுன்வோர்ட் ஃபேசிங் டாக் ஆஃப் த ப்ராக்டிஸ் beautiful try to keep the shoulders as much open as possible inhale right leg forward dropping the left knee and again front leg 90 degree feel the stretch on your quads so as of the back leg tuck the toe in lift the knee up send the other leg forward drop the head down if you are flexible you can see that my hands are already in the mat but if you are not flexible do what is comfortable where are you at the moment inhale arms up arch back exhale relax other side inhale exhale left leg back beautiful holding your breath other leg back into a plank exhale knee chest chin inhale cobra exhale inverted v inhale left leg forward exhale other leg forward inhale arms up arch back exhale samasthiti hi We are going to go for sun salutations in Ashtanga style. Inhale, arms to the side. Exhale, flex forward. Inhale, halfway head up. Exhale, jump or walk into Chaturanga Dandasana. So that was a complete exhalation. Inhale, upward facing dog. If that is difficult, drop your knees into Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, upward. looking between your thumbs jump or walk exhale head down inhale arms goes to the side palms up exhale inhale arms up exhale flex forward inhale half way head up exhale jump or walk inhale upward exhale downward facing dog inhale looking between your thumbs going on to your toes jump or walk exhale head down inhale arms up exhale samasthiti hi one more inhale exhale inhale ardha uttanasana exhale jump back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale jump or walk exhale head down inhale arms up exhale samasthiti beautiful utkatasana chair pose exhale flex forward inhale ardha uttanasana exhale jump back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg goes up 
and staying there for three, two, and one. Swing your leg forward, back leg stays in toes, high lunge, your arms up, front leg 90 degree, the front knee gently drops out. And we're staying there for three, two, and one. Twisting to the right side. Try to apply your bandhas, will give you more stability. Well, twisting forward, arm comes down, leg goes back, chadaranga dandasana, or drop your knee chest in. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up for three, two, and one. Try to keep your bandhas. Inhale as long and deep as possible. Beautiful for leg strengthening exercise. From here, you are going to swing the leg into high lunge whenever you feel you have done. Back leg stays on the toes, heel on top of your toes, front leg 90 degree and the knee gently dropping out, high lunge. Twisting to the left side or to the side where the leg is forward. Try to go as much back as possible. You can see that my twist is not perfect. Twisting forward, arm comes down, leg goes back. Your own version of vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Open the leg to the width of your mat. Now we are going to send your right leg to your left ankle and we are trying to look under your left armpit and we are going to three-legged dog this is three-legged dog without one arm releasing the hand back to its center and we are going to go change the angle right hand goes to meet your catch your left ankle It increases the strength of your arms because the whole upper body weight is, uh, is held in place using one arm. Bring the legs together, jump or walk, exhale head down, inhale Utkatasana chair pose, exhale Samastidhi, beautiful, one more, inhale. Utkatasana, exhale, flex forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, jump back or walk back, Chadaranga or drop your knee chest in, upward and downward, right leg up and release the left hand and try to catch your right left ankle, two-legged dog, the hand can be anywhere that gives you balance and support, you don't have to bring it to your ankle, now drop the hand down, leg comes forward, high lunge, Twisting to the right side. Twisting forward, arm comes down, leg goes back. Your own version of vinyasa. Bend your elbow to 90 degree and then go for the vinyasa. Beautiful, left leg goes out and then release the right hand to keep it in balance. 
your center of gravity is between this arm and leg that is on the mat this is only to challenge ourselves if it is not possible to release the hand it is perfectly fine to do only the leg now arm comes down we are going to lunge into high lunge twisting to this left side I'm going to take a towel. Arm comes down, leg goes back. Your own version of vinyasa. Inhale upward and exhale downward facing dog. Gently moving the weight between your hips, trying to lift your hips as high as possible, opening your shoulders, shoulder blades, back muscle. Inhale, jump or walk. Exhale, head down. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Samasthitihi. Right leg goes up as much as possible. To strengthen our glutes, open the leg to the side and bring it to the inner thigh of the opposite leg. Try to bring the heel as high as possible. Hands in Namaskar in front of your heart or going above your head. You decide what is good for you today. Tree pose, Vrikshasana. It could be a tree on a normal day or it could be tree on a windy day if you are moving a lot. Try to have a fixed gazing point that will help you to keep the balance. Now we are going to go for the opposite hands on your hips. Lift your left leg as high as possible but try not to bend. Engaging your quads. Feel the strengthening of your glutes hip flexors or flexed and opening to the side Brikshasana on the other side you can keep the hands on your arch or looking hands up try to have a fixed gazing point hands to your heart Now releasing the leg, beautiful people. Now we are going to continue with, we are going to catch the big toe and we are going to strengthen the leg. Now the concentration is not on the strengthening, it's on the stretching of your uh, hamstring muscles. Feel the stability inside of you, opening to the side. If you have not have a possibility, keep the bent leg and beautiful. This time we are releasing the toes, really strengthening our glutes and hamstring. First we are stretching strengthening and we are going to go for the opposite leg catch your left big toe straighten as much as possible feel also the stretching of your back muscles the leg that is on the mat engaging all the quads and glutes opening to the side and looking to the opposite of your leg I'm looking at the camera to check if things are going okay again you can always catch the thigh or bend the leg 
now try to release the hand point the toes as much as possible try to stay stable as much as possible breathe drop the legs down beautiful we are going to continue with our asana practice here you see i am almost bending my knee at the level of my i'm pressing the knee down to create some stretch stretch in my gluteus if this is possible if this is not possible try to lift the leg and put that leg on top as much close as possible on your inner thigh dropping the knee completely down now we are going to catch our toes using the same side hand if this is possible go here if that is not possible you can see that i am catching the elbow of my opposite hand and trying to walk my fingers towards my toes trying to catch if you are in a position to catch your toes then bend forward if you are not able to catch your elbow you can see that you can go for half bend version breathe i have a fixed gazing point if bending is not an issue this is going to be an issue you can stay wherever is comfortable for you be mindful about your bent knee because you are really bending your knees more than it's regular now bring the slide the leg towards your knee and go for figure 4 sit or one legged utkatasana chair pose the more you push your hips down more strengthening of your leg happens and the outside edge of your leg is getting a very nice stretch beautiful people and we are going to continue with the other side remember we always try to balance both the sides So if you are doing right or left anything different don't worry too much left leg up pushing your knee down to open your piriformis and glute muscles try to keep the leg as high as possible the feet towards your um, abdomen drop your knee again trying to catch your toes using the same side hand if you have this possibility go for any variation that we spoke about and excel flex forward if you have this possibility wherever you are how much ever deep you can go try to keep the spine parallel to the mat bend the knee at nine uh, keep the leg straight gently coming up now slide release the legs slide the leg in figure 4 for one leg utkatasana chair pose you can really feel the outside parts of your glutes stretching and also strengthening in this asana you can stay there for 3 2 Gently coming out, releasing the legs, relaxing your legs. Breathe all through the practice. Remember to breathe as long and deep as possible. We are going to go for Gajendra Asana. Open the leg to the width of your mat. Push your glutes back, and then start bending your knee so that your leg comes 90 degree, and we are squeezing our pectoral muscles by bringing the elbows together and staying here. open the knee as much you need to try to keep straight as possible stretching the hands out like a tusk of an elephant gajendrasana elephant pose beautiful without locking your knee try to come out open the leg more wider toes pointing out 
when you are going to bend your knee your knee should be on top of your each ankle adjust your leg in such a way and go for god as pose try not keep your pelvis tucked in beautiful go where it is comfortable for you sumo squat or indian goddess pose again squeeze your pectoral muscles isometric hold your adductor muscles inner groin muscles glutes are all strengthened in this beautiful practice gently coming out you are going to go for a very half surya namaskar inhale arms up arch back exhale flex forward inhale right leg back without dropping your knee you are going to send the hand that is in the center that will be your left hand up for the standing twist beautiful release the hand to the inside of both the leg release the right leg to the outside and drop your back knee now release the center hand to push your knee out you can the leg goes on to the outside edge of your foot bring the palms to the inside of the leg you can stay on your palms or go on to your elbows for a lizard stretch you can try to hug your knees inside of you or you can keep your leg as much open as possible you decide what is good for you as long and deep as possible lizard stretch inhale lifting your head up coming back onto your uh, palms tucking the back toe lifting the back knee sending the other leg back into the plank and we are planning going to go for side plank on your favorite side let it be right side sorry just normal plank full plank if staying on your palm is difficult you can always drop your elbow drop your knee chest in sliding into a cobra exhale inverted v beautiful other leg forward sending the center leg hand up into the twist beautiful keeping the twist as much as possible breathe 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 releasing the hands to the inner side of your leg we are going to go for lizard stretch first we are going to open the leg go on to the outside edge of your foot push your hips open as much as possible and staying there for 5 4 3 2 1 once you're done releasing the hands to the inside you can stay on your palms or go on to your elbow for a deeper stretch you can also lift your back knee up enjoy the lizard stretch 
beautiful stretch for your hips so as these are the moments to go into meditation every asana leads us to meditate once you are comfortable there your mind can go into the state of meditation beautiful inhale head up exhale coming to the palms sending the leg back into a plank and then we are going to transit to the side plank on the one side if arms are difficult you can go to the elbow on the side plank try to keep the hips as i has possible cookie is trying to catch a fly i think coming to center and bring the left hand to the center drop to the left side again you can stay on your palms or go on to your elbow remember your bandhas beautiful again going back into the plank knee chest chin slide into a cobra and we are going to stay in lazy crocodile we are going to do some back bend breathe as much as possible pressing your internal organs against the floor release the hands to the level of your shoulders elbows pointing back tuck the toes glutes in toes touching and lift your upper body as high as possible for cobra we are going to stay for three long breaths most important in back bend is engaging of your glutes now we are going to come down you are going to go for sphinx and your elbow is to the side of your rib cage inhale coming up a beautiful in yoga pose but protect your lower back by clenching your glutes mula bandha toes touching heels touching back of the leg stretching completely and your shoulders away from your ears don't shrug your shoulders and you are more higher because we are using the entire arm sphinx pose releasing your self and we are planning to lift the leg and release the upper body up completely this time using your core and the back muscle strength release the leg up you can go on to a superman a superwoman release the hands down palm down lazy crocodile move your hips in no particular direction to release your lumbar back now we are going to go for seal pose now straighten your hands as much as possible try to keep the shoulders as much low as possible you are really going for a complete front part of your body is getting a beautiful stretch and the back part is compressed lower back strengthening our lumbar back seal pose coming down you are going to bring your chin on top of your 
hands inhale as long and deep as possible bend your leg grab your ankle from the outside push your shoulders open lift yourself up in tanurasana down keep holding your ankle this will enable us to stretch your quads beautiful one more dhanurasana palms going for lazy crocodile you are going to go for frog pose pekasana bring your left hand parallel rescind your right hand to catch your right ankle and try to press your leg as much as possible as when you start pressing your toes and try to look up inhale more you lift your upper body more you get a back bend be mindful about your knee bekasana is a bit strong on your knee but very good for your quads and the ligaments around your synovial joint of your knee frog pose and change of side try to keep the hand 90 degree from here we are going to push our hip back into child pose in a child pose our spine is trying to be like one complete arc instead of two double s you can always bend your make a fist keep it on your forehead you can keep a block under your face or try to keep the forehead you can bend your hand behind your ears and try to press your head forward towards the mat stretching the back of your neck release the hands forward walking your hands away from you inhale push yourself into all four beautiful tiger pose on the right leg try to keep the elbows as straight as possible when you bring the knee try to crunch your abdomen as much as possible inhale tiger exhale inhale exhale now 
straighten the leg toes pointing down and we are going to cross that leg to the back of your front leg so that both knee are top of each other open the leg and push your hips down as much as possible trying to sit in gomukhasana my knees you can see that is not in line it is perfectly fine open the legs as much as possible trying to put both sitting bones on the mat whatever knee is up that hand comes down other hand comes from the out upstairs and try to catch your hands interlocking your fingers breathe 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 keeping the interlock try to fall forward at one point if you cannot keep the interlock release the palm in front of you like a sphinx try to bring your chin towards your knee opening your lumbar spine and we are going to go for the other side push your hips back come to all four go for the tiger pose on the other side and then go for the gomukhasana leg whatever knee is up that hand comes down the other hand goes from the up interlocking your fingers inhale lifting your sternum straightening your spine going for a gentle back bend if gomukhasana leg is not an issue is not to be an issue sit comfortably stiram suham asanam if that is also difficult use a fabric or a belt or press your elbow using your hand releasing the palms facing down swing the hand feel the stretch in the out side of your body now take off your glutes walk your palms away from you push yourself out release your legs in all four inhale cat exhale camel releasing your spine and your lower hips move your body in no particular order beautiful we are going to go for thread the needle inhale right leg comes up release the right shoulders try to keep the palms facing down the hand that is next to the face can stay there or it can come up or it can go to the inner thigh trying to go for as much twist as possible your neck position is for you make you comfortable release the hand from the inner thigh come out of the pose move your hips in no particular order and going for the other side Use the palm next to your face. Very good. And release the hand up or to the inner thigh, threading the needle. If you can keep the palms facing down, you can walk the fingers away from you to twist even more. Remember this. release the hand from the inner thigh next to your face inhale coming up opening yourself 
and come in all four move your hips in no particular order open the right leg to the side open your hips clockwise anti clockwise preparing ourselves for pigeon pose you can do 5 to 7 times bring the right knee to the right wrist open your leg try to bring the shin parallel to the mat don't worry if it's not happening walk your back leg back ensuring that both hips are parallel to each other and towards the mat you can stay on your elbow or go deeper you decide what is good for you i like to keep walk my back leg away from me trying to bring the hips closer to the mat palms tuck the toe release the mum asana relax your hips in no particular order and the other side beautiful doing preparing for the other side open your left leg rotate your hip socket from the hip joint clockwise 5 to 7 times anti clockwise 5 to 7 times left knee comes to meet your left and wrist open your left leg try to keep the left shin as much parallel to the short edge of the mat but don't worry too much the most important point is to keep the hips parallel to each other and parallel to the mat move your back leg as much back as possible going into pg and pose breathe you can see that i am staying in my elbow you can also stretch your hands walk your fingers away from you go into the place where you go into this meditation every asana is a possibility to meditate every asana is a possibility to be at the moment inhale gently head up coming out send the knee back move your hips in no particular order to Uh, release any stress on accumulated strain in your hip joints beautiful now we are going to go for dolphin pose drop your elbow interlocking your fingers inhale lift your hips up inhale forward exhale back you can try to do 5 to 7 to 10 times more you can you are doing this more you will find strength in your shoulders that will help you to stay balanced in your head stand will help you to for every asana that have, that involves your back shoulders arm arm strength you can try to inhale as high as possible and exhale try to go as low as possible and if it's too difficult you can stay up and engaging your uh, back muscle as you can see again your and elbows should not slide out you should keep the elbows in a place when you measure this place it will should form a triangle and stay there for 1 minute 2 minute walk your leg towards your face so that your hip goes higher and higher and you can enjoy the it's almost like doing a headstand once you have done you can always go to a child pose from there i suggest you to go into headstand if you have this possibility otherwise we are going to lie down go for shoulder stand sarva anga asana again shoulder stand is difficult don't look at the camera 
you should protect your neck by looking at uh, your toes if going into shoulder stand is difficult you can just lie down on your back and lift your leg up feet pointing up i am not doing the asana so don't look at the camera One minute, two minute, and give holiday to your feet. You can always point the toes, flex the toes, open the leg as wide as possible. Move your leg around, but protect your neck. Your neck is not moving. The entire weight is on your shoulder. From there, you can drop yourself into halasana, plow pose. I am looking at my phone for the timer. So don't look at my uh, the <laughs> don't look at the camera cookie is coming again don't move your head or neck all the inversions you can do in your own time 1 minute 2 minute the longer you do it's better from halasana you can go for karnapida asana bend your knee drop your knees to the side of your ears you can support your boy back or release the hands interlocking your fingers again i am not doing this asana if you don't have an idea about what is karnapida asana stay in halasana from halasana you can try to come out support your lower back and slide out of the pose one vertebra at a time again breathe as long and deep as possible enjoy the process it's the process that matters beautiful once you come out of the pose we are going to go for bridge pose sedu bandhasana after say the bandhasana we are going to go for figure four stretch bend your knee right both right leg goes on top of your left knee right hand goes between your thighs left hand comes from the outside interlocking your fingers giving yourself a beautiful hug release the hand from the center and push the right knee away using your right hand to open your piriformis it's a small muscle that pinches our sciatic nerve causing us back pain so to relieve your back pain these asanas are amazing and your lum- spine is completely supported by the ground so you will not find any it's perfect for your lower back we are going to keep pushing our knee away from us at least for a minute once you have done you are going to go for twisting drop the foot to one side use one hand on your knee try to bring the other hand to catch your ankle if that is possible or go for the twist in your favorite way you can see that i am trying to grab my ankle on with one hand and press the knee to the other side and trying to keep my shoulders on my head opposite of my knee coming to center and we are going to 
drop the foot to the other side to open your obliques on the other side so your uh, the 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 foot that is on top of your knee presses the knee down and the one hand goes to your bent knee this is a bit of a weird twist it's not a twist it's basically a kind of an oblique stretch come to center and the reverse left leg goes on top of your right thigh left hand comes from the inside right hand goes from the outside interlocking your fingers on your shin and hug yourself ensure that the back of your neck is straight now opening the piriformis send the left hand to pray or push your left knee away from you try to keep the hand straight if that is possible the other hand hugs your knee towards you from there drop the foot to the opposite side one hand goes to your knee the other hand goes to catch your ankle of the opposite same side try to keep the shoulders as much down as possible giving a twist at your hip lumbar spine area every inhalation take the prana and every exhalation enjoy the spaciousness once you have done coming out and press the knee towards the opposite side opening your obliques try to keep the shoulders on to the mat you can see that you can see how i am stretching my um, obliques from there releasing the leg out in shava asana the letting go pose drop your toes to the outside arms to the side of your body palms facing up bring the legs together interlock in your fingers give yourself a very nice stretch point the toes flex the toes point flex point flex now bend your knees hug yourself going to side to side and come to a sitting position through going through a fetal position which i skipped and you are welcome to stay you can pause the video and stay in longer shavasana you can stay in longer um child pose fetal pose once you have done come to a sitting position in a comfortably cross leg position yoga is a union yoga whatever happens in your mat is your only reality so if you can do something if you are not able to do something it's perfectly fine closing your eyes bringing your hands in prayer position in front of your heart thank your physical body 
to have helped you with the practice thank yourself for going through this session thank each and every person in our life without whom we are not the person we are today the people who stayed the people who left people who met people we have not met contributed to being who we are today we are going to three times om and shanti inhaling om shanti 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 bringing our hands to the third eye the seat of intuition it always guides us through the practice thank you for joining me in this asana class i have other videos uploaded please share please comment please subscribe uh, more uh, i will be very happy to share with you more practices and whenever you feel thank you have a very good one bye bye this is bala signing off from oral pondicherry india ciao ciao